Pillow, what's going on here? I'm teaching Cake and Book how to play yo-yo chess. Yeah, Nickel, it's really, really fun to play. Here, when this game finishes, you can play me next. Wait, I thought I was next in line. Oh, sure, that would be fun. But then why are we playing on top of this life-threatening roller coaster? <laughs> Time for some fun. Oh, um, I don't know why we're here. Pillow was just about to explain that to us. She is the expert. Yeah, Pillow, why do we have to play? <laughs> Whoa, that was so scary! Yo Yo Chess Sherry is an exhilarating game. Say, where'd Nickel go? He questioned the rules of Yo Yo Chess. Nobody questions the rules of Yo Yo Chess. If you say so, Pillow. What? Why are all my pieces suddenly on the weakest squares? Pillow, are you sure you put the pieces back in the right places? Ah! <laughs> oh, awesome! I'd been meaning to buy a juicy gumball from this gumball machine, but I couldn't afford it until now. I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm rich! <laughs> So in case you forgot, last time our seven teams tried making their best amusement park rides. The S and teammates ended up with the lowest ratings of 0 out of 10, so they're both up for elimination. Whichever members on each team got the fewest viewer votes will leave the battle for the power of two. Two, spit out that gum. It's time to be a respectable host. Oh, I guess you have a good point. There! Now that'll never be a problem we'll have to deal with ever again! Ooh, I have a good idea! Let's do cake at stake on the S stage we built last time! That's a lovely idea, Bottle! We must do that! Everyone, welcome to the grand opening of... The new cake at stake stage! Alrighty then, Essers, let's get on stage! That's a terrible idea, Bottle! We mustn't do that! W why not? How are your tears flowing inside the bottle? Don't cry, Bottle. It's simple. The reason you can't come on stage yet is because teammates technically did worse than your team because you at least built a stage, and they didn't make anything. So as punishment, they're gonna lose a member first. Oh, that makes sense. Anyway, too, let's give the teammates the best cake at stake ceremony ever! Let's do it! Gramophone, we've been training for this moment for weeks! It's time for you to shine now! Hit it! Hey, two! When you pick a cake, decorate a ticket to the players who are safe. That's how you know it's cake at stake! Cake at stake! Oh, wow! I'm loving that new cake at stake jingle, too. Thanks, Barfy. I figured new stage, new song. Also, this episode's cakes are delicious burritos. They're smart, creative, not overly dramatic, they'll listen to your problems, and they love writing. What impressive burritos. How are you all being so optimistic right now? Our team is in danger. One of us will be exterminated. Don't worry, Pin. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, also, I'm speaking right now because statistics show whoever speaks right before two announces the votes has the highest chance of getting cake first. Eh. Pin is safe with 4,762 votes. Seriously? Also safe are Coiny, Bathbag, Gatey, and Needle. Oh no, Donut! It looks like fate has caught up to us! Yeah, it's either you or I leaving today! And the answer is that, well, Saw, you're out. You fell a few votes short of Donut. Aww, that's not great! I'll always cherish building that restaurant with you guys. But, too, just curious, how many votes was I short of Donut by? Perhaps... Eight? Yeah, actually, it, it's exactly eight. What is going on? VS! You're up for elimination next! Just like teammates, whichever one of you got the fewest votes is eliminated. It's so awesome to finally be on stage! Yellowface, you just spoke, so you're safe with 8,744 votes. So is Winner, Rocky, Clock, and Bottle. Hehe, <laughs> soggy burritos! My favorite concoction! Well, it's town to just you and me, Ice Cube. Water paste Gundes is having so hard these days. Yeah. It's probably because you evaporate too easily. Just stop doing that! Shh! Fries! 
You're made with obscene amounts of oil, so you're not much better. Anyway, the person eliminated is... Cloudy. You came 900 votes short of Ice Cube, which means you're gone. Like a puff of smoke. Oh man, I'm zet I wasn't dabled as day longer, pud. I'm happy I was at least able to collect so many nice memories with this team, though. Bye, everyone. Bye, indeed. Holy oh, no. cow! Man, it's a real bummer that Saw's gone. I agree. It was really fun getting to know her. She had a sharp wit. Yeah, hashtag Team Sharp. And one time, Saw and I even smelled this funny plant together. It was the best. Maybe we can use this plant as a shrine to remember her memory then. That's a great idea. Yeah, even more so because I know this species of flower has three lives. I learned that in gardening class. Ah! Chase the gum! <laughs> gum bubble! Here I come! Ah! No! My soggy burrito concoction! No! My friend Saw! She isn't dead, you know. She's only eliminated. Oh, yeah. No big deal, then. Yes, big deal! That was the last specimen of the funny plant alive on this planet! Now that we've made the species go extinct, we've ruined the biodiversity of Goiki! No need to worry, Fanny. There are actually seven specimen of the funny plant still alive now, in different biomes across the universe. Unfortunately, they're all down to their last life, so they desperately need protection. Which is why today's challenge is to pick a biome out of a hat and then protect that biome's funny plant! What biome did you get, Marker? Jungle. Hmm, it shouldn't be too hard to protect a flower in a jungle. Yeah, and we're experts at preventing death these days. Yeah, snowy tundra, just like me. Snow tundra? How can a flower grow in that? Oh no, we're doomed. You peeked inside the hat, didn't you, Snowball? Maybe. Figures. Let's see what we got. Out of space? This isn't good. What? Teammates, we are going to Yoyo Land? Whoa, I'm feeling deja vu. Ooh, but it'll be my first time there. Let's take a look. Oh, I hope you guys got enough water stored up because our funny plant is in the desert. Awesome, we can play Yoyo Chess by the cacti. That's against Yoyo Chess rules. My team, we're going to the biome of David Land? Oh, seriously? <laughs> Don't say that. It's already bringing back horrifying memories from my past. I didn't even know David Land was a biome. I just figured it was like a congregation. Um, two? How are we going to get to our biomes? Good question. I definitely don't want to tire your little leggies out. So last week, I commissioned Golf Ball to build these bracelets. Wow. Last time helmets and this time bracelets? You're really getting into wearable tech. I sure am. A silly bracelet? How's this going to help my team get to Yoyo Land? Try it on. Whoa. Purple grass? Yellow sky? There's no way. I'm... I'm actually in Yoyo Land! Katie, remember when I told you this was my lifelong travel destination? Well, we're finally here! Wait, Katie? Katie? Where are you? Oh no, don't tell me I got lost! Help! Oh, MPF! And just take off the bracelet if you want to come home, barfbag! Oh, I see. Oh, hey, Golf Ball! Would you like to be invited to my brand new Shape Hater Club? Where'd she go? So teams, use golf balls bracelets to teleport to your biome and then protect your funny plant at all costs. First two teams whose plants die will be up for elimination. Also, if you kill any of the seven funny plants yourself, your team automatically loses. Go! Hey two, thanks for picking a challenge that protects plant life. You're welcome, tree. We botanical contestants appreciate it. Like grassy. Yeah. And robot flower. Y y yeah. I actually don't know if you count. Enough squabbling! Now it's time to get going! Huh? Well, I guess I fit right in here. Thanks for joining me here, team. Sure thing! Just like me, jungles are so cool! I hate jungles! Agree to disagree! While this jungle has so many exotic plants, vines, orchids, and cherries... I me, Cherry Jr. the Orphan! Surprising. I thought the jungle was too humid for cherry trees to grow. <laughs> it is! That's 
That's why I'm an orphan. And there's the funny plant we need to protect. Oh, my cloud. It is so cute. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Ouchie, ouchie. I'm transforming into lightning cherry. My sensors detect that the funny plant is down to 15% health. Oh, my acorn. So soon, and our precious baby is already nearly dead. I know. I'm really sorry that happened. I hate you being here in the jungle. Fanny's right. Lightning, no hard feelings, but our team would be better off preventing death if you stayed back home. Wait, no. I'm sure I can be more careful. I agree. No, 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 no. No, no. He's gone. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm right in my element! Ugh, I can't believe we have to protect this flimsy flower in the frigid cold just because of Snowball's dumb ego. Ego? You're the ego! Eggie's right. This flower's vitals are failing as we speak. Is there anything we could do to warm it up? Oh, I know! Sound waves generate heat, and I'm a master of making sound! Good idea! Do it! Yeah, let's do it, girl! Warm up, warm up, every paddle shut the ice! Warm up, warm up, get all toasty, hot, and nice! Warm up, warm up, every paddle shut the ice! It's working, it's working! Keep it up, Belle! Hmm, I'm gonna move my truck piece. It's not called a truck piece, it's called a free smart super van! Okay, my free smart super van! I'll move it here! Ha ha! Right into my trap! Are you guys seriously playing Yoyo Chess when we have this funny plant to protect? Yoyo Chess is fun. Babysitting a plant is not fun. No, Pillow. Nicola's right. Thank you. This plant is getting really dry. Let's split up and search across the desert for water. Good plan, price tag. So, um, Tennis Bro, where's Golf Girl? She already used her bracelet to get to David Land. Then let's put on our bracelets and join her there. Uh, actually, Puffball... What's wrong? Because you caused such a havoc last time with your deadly roller coaster, Golf Ball instructed me to ban you from participating this time. But I still want to help! Sorry, Puffball, it's just protocol. But to you other are you okayers, equip your bracelets and let's head off to David Land. Hey, bud, your team left you behind too? Yeah. They must have a thing against us flying contestants. Maybe they do. Team S, let's head off to outer space. Yeah. Oh, but uh, not you, Ice Cube. You're made of water, so you might sublimate in a vacuum. Better stay here on Earth. What? Sorry, Icy. It's for your own safety. Wow, Ice Cube, you two, these teams are abandoning their members left and right. I want revenge! It's okay to feel that way, Ice Cube. At least the three of us understand what it feels like. Warm, 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 you still stay toasty and healthy. Warm, 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 you will stay toasty and healthy. Keep going, Belle. This funny plant looks like it's almost up to full health. Grow big and strong, plant. Grow big and strong. Team members? Where are you? Oh, great. Belle lost her bracelet. She's gone. We gotta get her back. Can we give her a call with touchtone telephone? Maybe their landline connection can work across biome borders. I don't think so, Robot Flower. I love Touchtone's aesthetic, but Belle doesn't strike me as the type of girl to be wired up all the time. And our funny plan is already starting to freeze again. We need a plan B. But it's so desolate here. What objects on this mountain could even be used to generate heat? I suddenly have an idea in mind. I'm grassy. Yeah, we're in space now! Whoa, I never would have guessed that we'd get these nifty space pods. That's awesome, because look! That super distant quasar is about to shoot a deadly gamma ray in our direction! <laughs> See, because of the protective space pod, that just tickled. Take that, quasar! Oh, I don't, I don't know, Bottle. Gamma ray bursts make me feel a little nauseous. Oh no, Rocky too! No, he's drowning! Rocky drowning is sad news, but our funny plant thriving in space is happy news! Whoa, look at the Earth! I can see Yoyo Land from here. I wonder, what's going on down there? Well, teammates, here we are at the glorious expanse of Yoyo Land! Gasp! It's the world famous Yoyo Bush! And what's this? A ripe Yoyo Berry? Prime for plucking? Don't worry, Needle, I wasn't gonna eat it. Besides, it's worth more than its weight in gold to collectors. 
so I'll just save it as a souvenir. But, Barfbag, the only collector who wants it that badly isn't here with us anymore, so he can't even buy it from you. Wait, who are you? Oh, right. Anyway, Team Eaters, here's our funny plant. The cool thing is, Yoyo soil is very fertile, so the funny plant should have no problem thriving here. Fascinating! I can see it growing in real time! OMB! Wow, Pin! Between this and your knowledge of yo-yo seeds, you seem to know a lot about plants! Yeah, I'm just obsessed with reading about yo-yo biology! Well, are you okayers? We're back in the depths of David Land! I remember it well. So do I! Well, it's my first time here and I'm kind of spooked! I remember David from season one, but why are these Davids so much bigger? Silly pen. Most Davids are this size. The David we saw way back then was simply a smaller variant of the species. OMTBF, I found our funny plant that we have to save. But why is it so close to one of the David's legs? Oh, wait, this is actually a serious problem. TV, calculate the reverberation rate of a large sized David saying, ah, oh, seriously. <laughs> Oh no! 2,763 reverberation units! That's so bad! How tragic! No, I actually have no clue what that means. Is that a big deal? Yes, it's a big deal, Fries! Remember, the Davids will say, ah, uh, seriously, if you provoke them, which you did last time. It's about time! Davids are the most annoying creatures I have ever laid my eyes upon. <laughs> When we were a mile up, their awe seriously sounded at a moderate volume. But here on ground level, it will sound so loud, it'll probably rupture all our eardrums. And worse, the reverberations will destroy the funny plant. Haha, <laughs> you finished each other's sentences. This is serious, Eraser. It means that we can't utter a single insult to the Davids, or else they'll hear and we'll lose this challenge. Oh no, you mean I can't even say that the Davids look like absolute- No, you can't. Can't say that. <laughs> that reminds me of the time I was thinking of going up to a David and- No! Don't worry, golf ball. I know exactly what you mean. I shouldn't say the fact that Davids are truly- Tennis ball the... help! Oh yes, doing my duty. Phew! Oh, hey, Bommy, what's up? Hey there! I have an idea. Are you cool with dying for this challenge? Sure! Yay! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Yeah, cactuses have water inside. Welcome back, Nelly! Funny plant, time to quench your thirst. Yay, I nailed it! I found a fancy water bottle. It was in the side of an abandoned van. Awesome! Well, I found an even fancier water bottle in the side of an even more abandoned van. You sure did! Wait, what? You can talk? I sure can! And it's not an even more abandoned van, it's my home sweet mobile home! Got it. Hey, uh, can I pour your innards on this funny plant? We need to win this challenge. Oh, sure! I've always wanted to use my sparkling water for something useful, so go ahead! Thanks, talking water bottle. No problem, Nickel. I didn't find any water, but I'm a motivational quote pamphlet. So I looked up a few inspiring words to say to the plant. It's hard to beat a plant who never gives up growing. No way, that worked. So that means we've got everybody except, uh, Bommy? I exploded him intentionally. Ah, uh, that's fair. Wait, and Cake! Uh-oh, um, I, I hope we reminded Cake to avoid that ancient yellow face skeleton that died in BFDIA ten years ago. Oh my word! What?! We definitely didn't remind him about that. This is my first time hearing about this skeleton. Where is it? I can't find any water! Maybe there's some behind here? No. Hmm. Where could it be? Where could it be? So, what do we do now? Wanna play charades? Not really. I still wanna convince my team I can contribute. I mean, I agree, but what can either of us really do? 
Don't you still have your jungle bracelet? This thing? Oh yeah, I do. I guess when Marker pulled it off my arm, both me and the bracelet got sent home. So why don't you put it back on again and help your team compete? Oh, I don't know. They meant to kick me out, and I don't want to over-insist too much. Like, I wouldn't want to attend a party I wasn't invited to, you know? Well, I would. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you coming for my bracelet? This is mine. Come on, Teapot's more fun when we get to shake it up. You don't want to go to the jungle, so I will. That doesn't warrant stealing, though. Hey! Stop it! Hey! Stop it! Huh, I gotta be smarter about this. Oh! Huh? Let's ride my roller coaster, Belle! I hate roller coasters, though! It'll be fun! I'm scared! Huh? Hey! Wow! What is that thing? It's Puffball. She's not a Def Pact again member, though. I'm here on behalf of my team. Are you okay? I'm not. And I'm here to kill your funny plant. Well, you might as well give up now, Puffball, because we are the masters at preventing death. Say hello to the castle of the funny plant. It is impermeable to all the dangers of the rainforest, from alligators to falling trees to snakes to hurricane winds to fish monsters to floods. Why didn't we consider that Puffball can just fly? I hate the ability to fly! Get out of there, Puffball! Stop, Stop it, Puffball! We're gonna get, get you! You better leave there, there immediately! This is our territory, PB! Get out! Black Hole, you're our only flying contestant. You have to fly in there and pull Puffball out. If you say so. You know what? I shouldn't get any closer. I could risk sucking up Puffball and others. That kills people, so no good. Black Hole's right. How could we lose sight of our main mission? Preventing death. Well, that may be your strange mantra, but it's not mine. Time for me to eat this silly plant. But Puffball. What now? Don't you remember Two's rule that if you kill any of the seven funny plants, your team loses? Oh, you're right. I actually forgot about that. Haha, <laughs> Black Hole couldn't stop you, but Two's arbitrary rule could! But there must still be a way to do something sneaky. Give up, PB. There is not. I've got it! <laughs> hey, Ice Cube! What? Come with me to the jungle! I've got to! You're back so soon? Ah! Well, why would you do that? Here's the answer, Remote. Your funny plant is now absorbing water from Ice Cube's body instead of the soil. She is quickly shriveling up and may die in mere minutes. So the decision is yours. Snip your funny plant to halt the absorption or let Ice Cube wither away into nothingness. You did say your team was all about preventing death. Dang, she's clever. Okay, my job here's done. Bye. I'm back with a spoonful of water I found! It was on top of an ancient yellow face skeleton hiding in the shade! Here you go, funny plant! Wait, Cake, no! Huh? Price tag, what's wrong? Cake, don't you know? Any water that touches a yellow face skeleton is... Cursed! What? I had no idea! It's okay, though. We can repair the pieces back together. No, you actually can't! Ah! Two, how did you get here? The desert is our biome. I have a color-changing bracelet, so I can teleport to whichever biome I want to. Ooh, that's actually pretty neat. Yeah, it is. Golf Ball's inventions are always so nifty. But the sad news is that your team, Just Not, is the first to let your funny plant die. So you're all up for elimination. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sorry, team. This is all my fault. No, Cake, don't say that! It's partly on us BFDIAers for not reminding you about that yellow-faced skeleton! Also, whoa! Pillow, when did I go from 5 points ahead of you in your oil chest to 30 points behind? That's just one of the consequences of getting cursed by Yellowface's skeleton. Yeah! How 
Here's our funny plants, now basketball, nice and toasty. I mean, it is at a healthy temperature, but I don't feel comfortable with grassy being on fire right now. Guys, our funny plant is sucking up Ice Cube's water. She'll die soon. And then we'll be responsible for her death through negligence. Um, Grassy's bracelet is nearly completely charmed. Do we know what happens when a bracelet gets destroyed? <laughs> I bet it'll be fine. When things are set ablaze, they're usually still fine. Why don't we just pull Ice Cube out? Remember, Remote, the walls of our castle are indestructible. If you want to try climbing them, be my guest. Hup. That was pretty easy. Nice job. Now try pulling Ice Cube out. Exerting 110% from battery. I can do it. Puffball really pushed Ice Cube and Jeep. I don't know, Eggy. This whole burning teammate situation is making me nervous. Why don't we just take Ice Cube's bracelet off? No, that won't work. She'll be three feet underground and we'll no clip into the bedrock below, killing her. If Grassy's bracelet really is about to collapse into ashes, I really have no idea what'll happen. Maybe we do have to decide between letting our funny plant slowly kill Ice Cube. Which we absolutely can't allow. Or killing our funny plant to save Ice Cube. Um, God. Guys, if this grassy thing fails, do we have a plan C? Hmm, I got nothing. What about you, Robot Flower? You're the same species as the funny plant. Got any backup plans? Well, according to Tree, I'm actually not the same species. What say you, Black Hole? A contestant life is worth more than a plant life. <sighs> We just gotta let that plant go. But that violates Doom's rules, and we'll lose the challenge. Remote, don't forget, our death prevention supersedes any little challenge. Every. Single. Time. Agreed, but how can we kill the plant? We need to snip it somehow. Hey! Team? Grassy's bracelet really is on its last legs now. It's about to crumble. I've got it. I'll go back to our homeland and get two scissors. Oh, yeah. I remember those. Go get a marker. Snatch. Three, two, one. Ah, it's so hard. Ah, I'm ah, Lost. Get lost. Scissors to my team! Wow, nice job, Marker. You got the scissors in the nick of time. Yes, now let's snip this funny plant and save Ice Cube! Snatch! Funny plant, it's time to die. I see. Are you in pain now? No. So you're perfectly comfortable. Yeah. Hurry, we prevented death. But death pact again, one thing you did not prevent is elimination. Because you killed your funny plant, one of your members will leave the show. Sorry guys. That was a necessary sacrifice. Yes, a necessary sacrifice. Yes, a necessary sacrifice. Did none of you noticed that marker is on fire! What the forest? Wowzers, I better get out of here! Viewers, there are two teams up for elimination, but you only get one vote total, so vote one contestant you want to have saved. The contestant with the fewest votes on Just Not and the contestant with the fewest votes on Death Pact Again will both be eliminated. Make your one vote count! Hello, viewers of Teapot 4. Thank you for watching the episode. It's me, Carrie. You know, I'm one of the Huang brothers, along with Michael. Um, this is the first BFBI episode I've written in a little while, so it's fun to try it out. It was a little longer than I expected. Um, it's really rainy outside right now. Gotta film outside where it's lively. Hence the Outside Lands hoodie. Um, but with that being said, I hope you had a fun time watching it and I'll see you in Teapot 5. Okay, now that there's no source of heat, our funny plant will die. Figures. David smell like boogers. Gasp. What? It's true! Uh-oh, did Rocky just barf a second time? He sure did! What's wrong with that? Well, pressurized vomit could act as a lens! So... What's the issue with that? Well, if there's another gamma ray burst, the lens could refract it in any number of unpredictable ways. Funny you say that, because I can see that quasar jiggling up again. Oh no.
And now our funny plant is dead. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, Donut, it's simple. A gamma ray burst came from 2,763 light years away, got refracted by Rocky's vomit, went right through your mouth, and vaporized our funny plant. But you made it through unscathed. Oh, duh, it's so obvious now that you say it. And now all the funny plants are dead. Hooray! In one episode of Teapot, we managed to set a rainforest on fire and cause the complete extinction of a critically endangered species of funny plant! Aren't I managing Teapot so well? I'm managing it so well! Anyway, see you next episode!